Hello, I'm Reverend Karen Davis of First Christian Church. One of the things I love in my garden are my roses. And what's really amazing, something that's happened over the last few years, is that I have a rose bush called a double delight rose bush. And so it has the white petals in the middle and around the edges. It has pink and it smells fabulous. And I love those double delight roses. Well, it happens to be that planted right next to it is another rose bush called the candy striped rose bush. And it has red and white striped roses. And it too smells fabulous. Well, what started happening a few years ago is that whether it was because of birds, bees, or just the fact that the two plants are next to each other, but somehow those two began to cross-pollinate and some of the roses on both of the bushes turn out looking like this, where it is a hybrid between the double delight and the striped rose. And it's amazing because it smells fabulous, it looks beautiful, somehow these two roses have become one. This morning we are reflecting on John's Gospel, chapter 15, verses 1 through 8, where Jesus is using the analogy of a vine, talking about how he is the vine and we as his followers are the branches. And in order for us to grow, in order for us to bear fruit, we need to stay connected to that main branch, to those roots, so that we can flourish and grow. We are to be like this hybrid rose where pretty soon we begin to show signs that we are followers of Christ, that we have become one with Christ, so that the fruit that we bear tells the rest of the world who we are and whose we are. If we're cut off from the vine, it's difficult for us to grow, to prosper, to flourish, to do God's work. So I encourage you to reflect upon ways that you can make sure that you are well connected to Christ, that you are firmly planted into God's word so that you can grow and flourish and so that the fruit that comes forth from that shows the world the beauty, the goodness, the grace, the hope that God wants all the world to see. May you truly abide in Christ, just as these two types of roses now abide in one another. May you abide in Christ so that others see Christ in you. Go forth producing fruit of God's love and God's good works. May God bless you and guide you.